Worf actor explains how Star Trek, TNG's Klingon broke Roddenberry's rule. Star Trek, The Next Generation's Worf actor Michael Dorn discusses how the character broke Gene Roddenberry's infamous no-conflict rule. Michael Dorn, best known for playing Lieutenant Worf in Star Trek, The Next Generation, discusses how the Klingon broke Gene Roddenberry's infamous no-conflict rule. Quickly proving a worthy addition to the USS Enterprise D ensemble, Worf was the first Klingon in Star Trek to appear as a regular series cast member, going on to join the Star Trek Deep Space Nine cast seasons 4 to 7 after TNG wrapped. The introduction and development of Worf, son of Mo, added vital depth and intrigue to the series. Aggressive by his Klingon nature, orphaned as a child, and raised by humans, Worf embodied deep inner conflict tuck into Star Trek, the original series Spock, Leonard Nimoy. In the Star Trek oral history, the 50-year mission, the next 25 years by Mark A. Altman and Edward Gross, Michael Dorn says that Worf broke Gene Roddenberry's rule that there should be no conflict within the cast of Star Trek, the next generation. Dorn points out that the hot-headed Klingon isn't always so together and so cool, and Worf generated a wealth of stories. Read his quote below. Worf addresses his anger issues in Star Trek, Picard. In Star Trek, Picard, Season 3, Episode 2, Disengage, Worf Salai, Commander Rafi Musiker, Michelle Hurd, attempts to gain information from the notorious, vicious Sneed, Aaron Stanford, a Ferengi crime lord on Matala's Prime. Her cover blown, Rafi is quickly outnumbered and in serious peril. Reeling himself to be Rafi's handler, Worf's timely arrival sees him efficiently dispatch the villainous Sneed and his henchmen. In Picard Episode 3, 17 seconds, having previously beheaded Sneed with his new Curlith, Klingon blade weapon, Worf brews some chamomile tea and claims to have become a pacifist. He admits to working with Starfleet intelligence and working on his numerous anger issues. In Star Trek, Picard Season 3's finale The Last Generation, the threats vanquished and peace restored, Worf actually falls asleep on the bridge of the Enterprise D. Despite his experience, character growth, and continuing role as an active force for good role, it seems the contrast and imbalance between Worf's inner and external nature endures. Roddenberry's retroactive application of a no-conflict rule to Star Trek, The Next Generation, and the subsequent series that upheld the ideal found measure against the development of bold and interesting Star Trek characters such as Worf, yet with conflict-driving drama and the franchise's premise built on hope and unity, Star Trek must continue to find a balance between good storytelling, moralism, and Roddenberry's utopian vision.